What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and some more Victory at Sea coverage. So we got some reinforcements here for our U.S. Uh, fleet and this is the USS Idaho. So another one of the New Mexico class ships. Um, so really excited to dig into this one and see what's... Uh, uh, what's what with this and um, uh, sort of uh, you know add another pretty uh, solid uh, battleship to our forces so we'll be right back after we get this open for you Alrighty, guys and we're back we got everything open up for you here so as per usual we get our working with warlord resin kits little insert sheet the tab sliders and then sort of some of the remaining cards here so assembly guide overall pretty easy ship to put together basically uh, what we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, metal bits that we'll have to add on there. Uh, four of them, the turrets, of course, the rest, superstructure things and all that. So overall, not very difficult at all. Um, on the back, we get a little bit of history about uh, the class itself and a little bit of a painting guide. Um, so pretty neat stuff there as well, like that they include those. Um, on the card side itself, we'll take a look at the model first, um, actually. So our metal bits there, so basically our turrets and everything, so um, doesn't look like really any major deformities or anything like that. So just a little bit of cleanup work, and then that'll be ready. The model itself, of course, is pretty, uh, pretty dang gorgeous here. So again, that new Warlord resin, the lighter stuff, um, which is really just the crisp detail and all that, so really good stuff there. We got all our light guns, if we look from top down, um, uh, so the light batteries, the AA guns and everything, um, and then obviously the turret rings and then the uh, catapult in the back. Um, I'm glad that that one's actually just sculpted on. Those have been kind of a pain in the butt to um, work with sometimes uh, if they're the metal bits and you actually have to glue them in. Um, so overall, it's, I, I like it when Warlord uh, sculpts those in there. One less thing that you have to deal with in metal. Um, so, and then, yeah, uh, Idaho on that side. Um, if we can get it to focus, perhaps, or perhaps not. Let's see. There we go. Um, so New Mexico class battleship, of course. So the three of the line here. So overall, pretty neat there. And uh, the history on it too is again pretty neat. So that's another thing you get on the um, the back of these. Um, and so at some point it'd be cool too. Again, if we get more of the other interwar period stuff and other um, uh, classes. So it'd be interesting to see like some of the Nevada Nevada class ships as well. But overall, really great model, another great addition to the fleet. Um, go right along with the New Mexico uh, itself. Um, so the battleship, of course, uh, we've seen this before, but a quick tour through it for everybody. So again, clocking in at least uh, on the card here, 395. Again, at some point we're going to do fleet reviews and everything from the rule book and all that. But um, really good ship, uh, able to slug it out. Um, certainly going to you know be at a disadvantage against things like the Yamato, but of course, you know what isn't as far as just straight up fights but um certainly much cheaper than the yamato as well but anyway um flank speed of four um, that's really what's going to let this class down compared to other potential uh faster movers um that might not hit as hard but um again just more uh the, those are going to be more maneuverable but again solid battleship armor of six 72 hull um aircraft four armored deck torpedo belt two so again very good slugger here uh four triple 14 inch uh turrets um with pretty good range out to 37 definitely gonna do some work um so especially when you get into um more close in work and your secondary batteries can start coming in a little bit too but those turrets will start munching on um uh a lot of opponents uh, certainly most cruisers are not going to stand up to a battery from a battering from your batteries um so uh light guns here initially at least uh 12 5 inches and then an 8 5 8 uh 5 inch battery um so we can see the stats there decent uh, little amount of course we'll get retrofits and upgrades um and then initially not much in the way of aa to start with but of course that changes back of the card gives us a tour through um the retrofits here and all that um again we're just going to focus on what the idaho gets since that's our ship here but starting with 41 uh, Idaho, New Mexico, increase AA battery to those range bands and add uh, attack dice one for 10 points. Then 1942, we add radar and change it to attack dice zero and local two for 60 points. Then 43, Idaho, basically we remove the 12 by five uh, or 12 five inch guns, I should say. Um, increase AA battery to that, attack dice eight and local three for 15 points. So again, you can start seeing um, where the focus is as we move through the war. And the final one for the Idaho in 1945, we add advanced radar and replace the remaining light guns with light guns, 10 uh, five inches, uh, the following range bands, uh, pretty solid attack dice there. 
um, weak, restricted, um, however, dual purpose, um, great stuff there for another 70 points. Um, and then some of the real stats there, of course, on the class. Um, so, uh, 624 feet long, 36,000, uh, tons, uh, 22 knots of real speed. Um, again, that's where that speed four is really coming in. So again, it's just on the slower side because these are basically, um, initially laid down, um, uh, end of World War One, essentially. So, but overall, again, fun class um, and uh, just a good solid ship uh, for um, you know different parts of the war here. So, um, you know, early war is going to be more of your frontline battleship, but then um, it will probably uh, start taking a little bit more of a backseat as uh, you add more air power and uh, other newer types of designs like the uh, the Iowa or the Mighty Mo and stuff like that. So um, anyway, really cool ship. Glad that we have this one out. And uh, let us know in the comments, guys, how you have been doing with your battles with the U.S. fleet so far. Um, have you picked up the Idaho? What are your thoughts on the New Mexico class as a whole? Um, you know, do you feel uh, do you feel the Idaho um, or the New Mexico? Do you feel both? I am, you know, uh, you tried feeling the Mississippi. Um, let us know in the comments, guys. Really um, eager to hear from you what your experiences have been. Um, what has uh, also, again, just worked well for you, like as far as opponents, um, what have you found is maybe um, not so good of an opponent for these things to go up against? Uh, where Again, where have you found your successes? Where have your failures been with this? Let us know in the comments, guys. Um, smash that like and subscribe button as well if you haven't. we got plenty more Victory at Sea content coming for you guys. And also, if you want to support the channel, check the link in the description. Click that. Head over to Warlord via that link. And if anything you pick up there, we'll come back and support the channel. And we really do appreciate everybody that helps out on that. So um, thanks so much again for stopping, guy, stopping by, guys. We will see you in the next one.